Okay, this is my second review, and it's not going to be a Transformers review. Today I found something very interesting that I just had to buy. Uh, forgive me, because I don't fully know all the Japanese parts of this, but I do know the, uh, of course, the American version of Power Rangers. And today I found this. Super Robot Chogogin which I call Megazord. Uh, I know that people know it as, separate, as uh, Super Sentai and honestly that's about as far as I know. I think it's called the Daisujin. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. But yes, today I found this lovely item which I've not even unboxed yet. I'm going to do that right now. So yeah. This just looks amazing! I can't believe how cool this looks. Um, great look at what it used to it looked like in Power Rangers. Yeah, let's see the side of the box. First I've got these Korean stickers and the shop tag over here, so it ruins the box of it, unfortunately. And here we get some good looks at the actual toy. Some nice little looks here. You see the Mastodon shield. Yeah. Oh no, it's really, really nice artwork. I like that one. The black and white, that's really cool. Oh, there's a colour on the bottom as well. colour. And black and white. I think the black and white butter actually. So, let's get unboxing, shall we? Okay, so now I'm going to start opening. I've got my trusty knife here. I'll just take a stab at the sides in here and cut it through. That's safely away. <coughs> now, let's see. Straight away out of the box, here we have our blister pack, and it looks like a little instruction manual on how to set it up, what it can do. Like, look at these legs, they look really well articulated. Little guns and fists, and how to hold the shield. Yep. Really impressive, that's all it is though. Because unfortunately, as I know, this thing does not actually transform into the actual individual modes, which is a little bit disappointing, but seeing this, it's forgiven. Because <laughs> it just looks amazing. I just need that again, because I've got some tape on the bubble blister. Hang on. So, let's just. Oh, maybe I don't. Oh, I don't, that's good. There we go. Oops. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, first out of the box, let's take the actual toy itself. Plastic on the feet here. Let's take them off and put to the side. First thing we're going to notice about this is he is heavy. But such a small little thing. He is really heavy. You can feel the die cast here, die cast in the chest. It's plastic on the arms. But feels like die cast in the legs, definitely die cast in the legs. So die cast in the feet here? Plastic head? Definitely, yeah. Lots of die cast here. That's plastic. Classic. Is that a die cast head? Whoa, that's cool. So, as you can see, it's really well jointed. Which, that is really cool. Ow! I just put my fingers on the, on the tip of the tiger's head, uh, the tusks, and that actually hurts. Not so much on, this, on the triceratops, that's good. <laughs> but. Let me just say, this looks amazing.
I really, really like this. Okay. Uh, also, when it comes in the box is the Mastodon Shield. Which here is a good place for that to hold. It also comes with a set of hands. A right hand here for holding the sword. And an open hand. Left hand is an open hand. And it comes out. There we go. A left hand for holding the shield. Put this to the side. It also comes with. Oh! Is that under the plastic? No, it's not. Oh, good. It also comes with his sword. Really nice looking sword. Really nice. It also comes with these beam attack energies, which are to go on the head. I don't really recall that in the show, but it's been a while since I've seen Power Rangers. And this little this little sheath for the sword to simulate the attack. It just slides on top like so. Fits in rather snugly. Won't come off if you shake it. Have to pull it off. That's good. Wow. Wow. Cool. So let's get rid of that plastic. Okay then. So onto the uh, toy itself. Here. Okay. So here we go. So have a look at the toy itself. Let's bring it a little bit closer. Here we go. So, yeah. Oh, it's a too close. So I'm using a webcam here, so my camera is, it just has to be so far away from the actual item that you can actually sit behind the camera. So using my webcam, which is why it's not very good quality, unfortunately, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, here we go. So here is Megazord, or whatever you want to call him. Uh, looks great. <coughs> See with his tiger's leg, Triceratops leg, the Pteranodon chest shield. Mastodon arms, and of course, the rest of it's T Rex, which of course you don't really see unless you look at the back, which you can see the uh, the tail right here on the T Rex. And here's the red, of course, that's part of the, the T Rex as well. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't all come apart, but you couldn't really, don't, couldn't really do what this toy does with, if it came apart. Uh huh, so. The legs have decent, a really good articulation, actually. Um, Triceratops looks just like the uh, original uh, Triceratops. He doesn't go all the way back, unfortunately, but he is on a really good ball joint here you know, on the legs. And here we go, I think. The Triceratops head doesn't really move. Neither do the horns. He was he got decent rotation on them. Alright, there we go, decent rotation. The Sympathy Tiger is really good actually because the Sympathy Tiger's uh, arms can flip down and go back a little bit and the head can move up at an angle. So you, if you wanted to have him um, in a walking pose, it is certainly possible to do that. There we go. Okay, so let's just flip it back around. And I don't know if I mentioned it before, but these tusks on the Super Tiger are really sharp. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm figuring them a couple of times now. I don't know if you can really make this out, but the detailing on these legs is amazing. Let's see if we can bring it in closer so you can see. See what focuses. Oh, there you go, maybe see it a little bit there. It's really amazing detail work right here. Okay, so here we've got these skirts up here which they flip forward and back. And at the sides, so side to side. To help with poses. He has double jointed knees which are really good for posing. You can take it back, 
to there. Then if you keep going back, this part will move. Which means the leg can go even further back. Which is really awesome. Because if you're into poses and making poses for your characters, or for your robots, this is awesome. So here you can see, and again here, there's so much detail right in here. I don't know if you can really make that out. It's like little, little, uh, little grooves here. And they all go right back into Back in here and it moves up. And the same thing goes for the Triceratops. This is double hinged as well. Mm -hmm. It goes in and out. In and out, sorry. And forward. Which is really, really, really tight. This is just out of the box. So you put it a little bit more. It might be loosen up a little bit. It goes forward and a little bit back. It's it swivels out there, it's just bust above the thigh. Okay, uh, the body doesn't seem to want to swivel much. I don't know if it's just because it's tight or, or not, I don't know, but it goes around a little bit and it goes forward and back quite well. The, nothing else really moves on the chest. The shoulder pads on the arms, so let's just try and go this up a bit. Sorry. There we go. So, shoulder pads on the arms are on a hinge, they go up and down. The bicep's got a swivel. Also, it moves uh, up here on the elbow. Did I say elbow? I meant shoulder. The elbow moves in and out. It's also, this is actually also double hinged. Now, this is quite cool. You can actually, sorry, that was uh, the, uh, the wrist can move in and out as well, so you can have really cool little poses like this. Using a double hinged elbow, you can actually stick the fist under the shoulder pads. I think that's quite, quite neat. It's quite cool they did that, but I don't see why you'd have to pose him that way. But you can get a good victory pose with him. Whoa. Just defeated an alien. <clears throat> His head is good groove movement. It's on a ball joint and it goes all the way around. It's got perfect motion forward and back. It goes a little bit. The neck moves too, which helps it with its looking around. And on his back, he has these really awesome cannons which flip forward. Ready for action. Now, let's get some fists on him. Let's get these back down first. There we go. Now, the fists come off really easily. Let's just, sorry, let's just sort him out. But first, there we go. Right. Now, the fists are on a ball joint. They rotate around here. They just pull them off. Easy enough. Pull them off. Little grey ball. And just take a new fist. I'm going to take the uh, the the open fist. Sorry, the open fist part. And I'm going to stick that into the tie. Like so that one. Oh, that's a bit tight. Ooh, there we go. Wow, that was a bit tighter than I thought it was going to be. I'll do the same thing for the other fist. Let's just take that off and put in the other open fist. Okay, here we go. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. They come off so easily, but they go on. There we go. It goes on really hard. You've got to fight it there. There we go. So. Here's our Megazord, or whatever you want to call him, with his open fists. So obviously now I'm going to put in his sword and shield. So, here's the sword. Easy enough just to...
slide straight in, holds it very securely. You can't, no way that he's going to drop that accidentally. Need to pull it to get it out. So there is the sword. I'll put on the uh, shield, the Mastodon shield, which I have right here. Ow! Just put my finger on the sword, and that was a little bit of a sting. No blood, that's cool, but that is sharp. Bing, bing, bing. Ow! So the shield goes into the fist rather simply. It's a bit tight, so be careful. I don't want to pop off the uh, connector. Which I unfortunately did. A little bit of a uh, glue put back in there. There we go. So there we go. There's the bicep up, and there we go. There we are. So there we are. There's the Macedon shield and the power sword in all its glory. And I'm sorry, but that just looks amazing. There are some other little things you can put on it, of course. So for the, you just finished killing one of Rita's um, monsters. Put on the glowing saber. The Goldar needs to be taught a lesson, perhaps. And I, maybe a couple of times I've seen this. I can't really recall. But when he attacks with this part. Which we can stick on the horn up here. Put the pink on the bottom, I think. Let me just see where that goes. There we go. In there. There we go. Points on there, and yeah. I don't recall this. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, been a long time since I've seen Power Rangers. Be attacks with his horn and shoot some laser beams. I don't know. Looks cool, but yeah. Not going to display that at all. So, one thing I'm a little disappointed with this. Sorry, one thing I'm a little bit disappointed with no stand with come with him, which, hey, never mind. You know, it's sturdy enough. I mean, it's standing here on a soft surface and he's. Standing up well, it's a bit uh, chest heavy because of that the um, die cast chest, unfortunately. But never mind. So I don't really have any other uh, of these style of figures to to show you the size of him. So all I can really do is bring in some transformers to show you how big he is. And I've got here uh, Jazz, classic Jazz. And Jazz is a bit taller than him. And also, I have on the side here Bumblebee. And yeah, so he's kind of just a little bit shorter than Jazz and quite a little bit taller than Bumblebee. Okay, so overall, would I recommend this tie? Yes. If you're a fan of the uh, the uh, Chugagin line or just Power Rangers in general or Super Sentai in general, then yeah, you should love this one. It looks the part. It looks, it looks amazing as I'm concerned. I'm so glad I bought this. It was a bit expensive. Um, I didn't actually import it. I actually bought it off the shelf here in Korea. Uh, so I'm guessing it'll be a little, a little bit more expensive if you import them. Oh, I think I did see somewhere online that there's going to be a release of this uh, under the Power Rangers uh, name. So it's probably going to be cheaper when it comes out in the stateside or or wherever in, in, in the Western world. It should be a little bit cheaper then. But if you can get them at a decent price, then I would say get them because yeah, I, just, I just love it. It's just amazing and. Uh, it's going to be great to pose. So, yep. Google Power Rangers. <laughs>